This is the Blitzwolf VT3, a portable and wireless 1080p smart projector that retails for around £320, but for a limited time, you can use my discount code to get this much cheaper, so make sure to check out the details in the description. Now, this has an Android TV built in, but not only that, it also has an 8000 mAh battery which allows you to use this completely wirelessly for around 2-3 to three hours of constant use making it the perfect choice to enjoy a movie outdoors or anywhere where you don't have access to a plug socket. So in the box you get this very nice carry case making it very portable to take with you wherever you need to. Comes with a remote control, a plug which is actually USB-C powered so that's actually great to see. You can use your own USB-C power adapter as well but I always recommend using the one that comes in the box. Use a manual and now let's go ahead and take a closer look at the design of the projector whilst showing you the key specs and features. Okay, so this is actually very lightweight. It does have 250 ANSI lumens. It has autofocus and it is 1080p native, but you can actually play back downscaled 4K content if you need to. And it does have Android TV in built 9.0. Now you can see it comes in this nice gray metallic design. If we take a look at the back, you have yourself one USB port, the power button, USB-C to actually power the device and charge it up, and one HDMI port. Now because this is completely wireless, you can run this off of battery, but you have to just make sure you keep an eye on the battery life when you are using it. Two to three hours is more than enough to at least enjoy one movie or multiple episodes of a TV show. This also has two five watt speakers, and it does say that it has a bit of bass as well, so we will be testing out the audio quality. Along the top, you have touch capacitive buttons as well, so that's very nice to see. If you don't have the remote control with you, you can just use these to navigate the projector. And then you have a quarter 20 inch screw at the bottom, so you can mount this on a tripod if you need to. Okay, so I've set it up. It's literally plug and play. I've turned it on, and they do mention that the ideal maximum projection is 100 inches. So I've got a 120 inch screen here, but I've displayed this at roughly around 100 inches, so we can take a look at how this performs at its maximum projection. A lot of questions I get is around the fan noise. This is actually ultra quiet. I can barely hear any fan noise. And when the speakers are on, you're not going to hear a single thing from this. So it's ultra quiet, but just to test it, I'll get very close to it. Yep, I'm pretty sure you definitely can't hear anything, which is absolutely great. So let's dive in and take a closer look at how this performs. Okay, so before we run into the Android TV setup here and the OS, there's a lot of daylight coming into this room. And because this is only 250 ANSI lumens, I wouldn't recommend using this in the day anyway. Even though you might see this a little bit clearly through my phone, when it comes to darker scenes, it will be very difficult to see anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it black out and very dark in this room, just to give you the full capability of how this would perform if you do watch it at nighttime or in the dark. And there you go, so much clearer now that I've darkened up the room. So let's go through some of the settings. Now, you may notice this is not the traditional Android TV setup that you're used to on projectors. This is their own custom built OS that's based off of the Android Google system. And we're gonna go through some of the settings now. So just starting off from the top left, you have mirror cast and AirPlay. So if you want to screen mirror your Android phone or your iPhone, you have the option to do that, which is actually quite nice to see. And especially if you're going to use this outdoors because of its wireless and portable capabilities, you maybe want to stream something directly from your phone. And that's something that you can easily do through here. If we jump into the settings, we've got a whole bunch of settings on the left, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Then you have picture mode. You can set the brightness levels. I've set mine to high. Temperature, you can set it between cool and warm. If we go ahead and switch over to warm, that gives you nice warm ambient type setting, especially it makes it a little bit easier on the eyes. I think if you're outdoors, maybe have it set to cool just to make it a little bit brighter. Picture mode, you can change the projection from front to all of the other various options that you're used to. Next, we have keystone settings. The auto keystone, I didn't really do anything with keystone. I just placed it on my tripod and everything is positioned exactly how it automatically did the keystone, which I think was great. Autofocus is also on and that's actually very important when you do have something portable, you just want to place it and you want it to adjust itself. You don't want to spend time fiddling around with these settings yourself. Then you have some general settings. You can set the time zone and then you have an option called fan. You can actually set the speed of the fan either manually or automatic. 
So I think leaving it as auto is great. You've got signal settings for the HDMI as well. If you do want to connect this to a separate TV box, then you can also change the signal inputs directly from here. Sound settings. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the ketones for the buttons on the remote, but you can also change the sound effect from standard to vivid. I may go ahead and switch over to Vivid because I want to utilize the bass and the highest quality audio that comes from these speakers. Then you have language settings, apps management, and information about the system. This is also 3D compatible as well, so you can actually set this up with a 3D movie, for example, use your glasses, and actually enjoy your 3D content. So I think that's just kind of like an added bonus if that's something you would enjoy. Now you'll see along the top, of the system just there. The first icon is the battery icon. That just gives you a great indication of the current battery life if you do want to run it off wirelessly. I have it plugged in, so I'm gonna charge it up. So make sure it's at 100% before I switch over and use this wirelessly. Now you see the icon just next to the time at the top. That's actually a theme icon. When you select this and go into it, you have a whole bunch of pictures and videos that you can set as your background, and that will be the theme. So if you cycle through, you can choose whichever picture you like from the preset list. If we go over to video, for example, you can have animated videos as your backgrounds, plenty of options. Let me go ahead and choose this car. I will select it. And there you can see the video is now my background. So that's a really great way to customize your theme. Now you can see YouTube and Netflix is there front and center. I do have to mention, this is not an official Netflix licensed app. This is more of an unlicensed one. So when you do go into here, you would need to scroll like you have a mouse connected. And I would say it's a little bit clunky to do that because they don't have the official license. But just to show you how that looks, you can see the mouse cursor just there. And to navigate, you'd have to use your mouse to scroll down and you'd have to click with the mouse cursor on any of the videos that you'd like to watch. So that's something to bear in mind. Although everything works, you'll just have to get used to doing that. And at least you can say you do have Netflix available directly on the projector itself. You also have Disney Plus Prime Video down there on the bottom right. And then just underneath that, you also have the Google Play Store if you want to download any of your own apps. They also have a custom app store that you can also download other apps of various different categories if you'd like to. But now let's just go ahead and jump into a demo of a video and we'll also test out the audio quality and see how it performs. is built not by revolution. A great life is built by evolution. Small and steady wins the race. What you do every day is far more important than what you do once every decade. I want you to really think about that idea. What you do every day is simply your life in miniature. And as you live every single day, so you're crafting your life. What you do over the next hours is really building your future. And if you can just get every single pocket of 24 hours right as best as we humanly can, the rest of our life is going to take care of itself. So small wins matter. So you can see the visuals actually look really good, even though it's only 250 ANSI lumens in a dark room. That is more than enough to actually enjoy your content. You can see all the colors, they're quite vivid. And the audio itself is super clear. I heard every part of the dialogue, especially if you do watch movies, it would sound absolutely great. Now this is wireless and portable, so I won't be able to do it justice unless I actually do take this outdoors and see actually how it performs if I project this in my garden onto a white wall 
and see how it looks at night time when you are using this, maybe with your friends and family and enjoying some content somewhere other than your room. So that's it guys, hopefully you found that review useful and you like the look of the Blitzwolf VT3. I'm very happy with this, hopefully you have a great idea of how this performs now. But if you have any other questions, make sure to drop them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe, check out all my other projector reviews in the playlist down below. Check out the link and get this at a discounted price with my special code for a limited time and I will see you all at the next one. Take care.